guys hope you're doing great our today's question is merge case sorted lists so the question says merge case sorted linked lists and return it as one sorted list analyze and describe its complexity so for example if we are given these three linked lists which are sorted themselves the question needs us to return one single linked list which is also sorted okay so um, the question is pretty straightforward we have a couple of approaches that we use to solve questions on linked list so let's have a look at those so please pause the video have a look and come back so i think this is a pretty standard problem when it comes to merging two sorted linked lists and it's it's also listed here so you basically have to try and do link manipulation because copying them to a another list or copying them to another collection will take extra space which we don't want to do so we'll just try to merge the merge two two lists at a time using the uh, using basically link manipulation and the other tricky part of this is that we have k sorted lists so we don't have just two lists we have k sorted lists so one way we could go about is that we could just sort um, the first and the second list and basically copy the sorted list to the second one then second and the third copy the sorted one to the third and so on and this way the last list would have our sorted answer right um, but this solution would be o, o of n into k where, where n are the total number of nodes in all the lists and k is the number of lists right so there is a better way of doing it using the divide and conquer algorithm what we'll try to do is that we'll try to maintain an interval and in the first round we'll just merge the adjacent ones that where the interval would be one so like we'll merge the list at zero index and one index uh, two and three and so on right then the result of this merger would be stored in like zero two four and so on then what we'll try to do is that we'll double the uh, interval so now we'll merge zero and two right four and six and so on and now again we'll double it so for example we'll have zero and four uh, because we have copied the merged results to zero and four now and then we'll merge them and then finally at the zeroth index we'll get our answer so that phase we won't be like traversing the elements of a particular node or a particular list uh, for each uh, each of the other one and we are basically reducing our data set to get a better complexity of uh, O of n log k, where k is the number of lists. And of course, with O of 1 space, because we'll be using link manipulation. So um, let's dive into the solution, and I'm sure you'll understand better by the end of it. So fine, this is the list node declaration that we are given. So base conditions first. So if lists dot length okay if lists dot length is equals to zero then we just return null right okay and uh, fine yeah that should be it so now uh, as i was saying we need an interval which we will take as one initially Let's take the length, which is lists dot length. Okay, okay. So now, while our interval is less than the length, right? We have to go on, and we'll take a for loop in here, which will always start from zero. It will be less than length minus interval, and why is that? Because we always want that for the last element that we are at we have at least the interval gap between that uh, that value of i and the total length of the list so that we are able to pick the last two elements as well right so that's why we want to go only till length minus interval okay 
and this is the very this is a very interesting part that we have to in, uh, increment it by interval into 2 because our interval needs to grow exponentially so as i was saying uh, first we merge 0 and 1 2 and 3 in the next round we merge 0 and 2 then we merge 0 and 4 so we want to in increment this um, in that fashion right so yeah okay so after we have merged like 0 and 1 we want it to go to 2 directly and not um, you know merge 1 and 2 instead right so that's why we want to double it in the for loop right and then we just call merge to which we'll provide lists and i and i plus the interval okay right and then once this for loop is done then oops that's a typo so then we just have to as i said an exponential increase in the interval right okay so from 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8 and so on. Okay. So after this will be done, we should be, as I said, lists of 0 should have our final answer. And that's what we should be able to return from here. So uh, this is basically the, the, the different part of this question. Now, what we'll be implementing would be a, the very simple merge function for two lists. So, uh, which will not return anything. Okay. Uh, we call it merge. We give it the list node array for lists. And we give it two indexes, index one and index two. Fine. So, okay, so we give it to indexes and now what we need to do is that just like um, for any merge operation, we first need to have an answer. We just create a dummy node here of let's call it minus one value and then create another one which just points to the answer. So this pointer node will be kind of interweaving between the um, list at index one and index two and we'll be using answer.next to point to the um, first node of the merged linked list and return that or basically set uh, the, the list at index one to that merged list so that uh, for example when uh, the list of zero and list of one are being merged after the merger list zero has the merged linked list and so that we can carry out our operation in this exponential fashion okay so um and you also need two pointers for our two linked lists. So we'll just take L1 and L2 lists of index one, okay? And list node of L2 will be equal to lists, oops, sorry, lists of index two, okay? Good. Now, uh, so we have all we need. So what we'll do is that while um, L1 is not equal to null or L2 is not equal to null. So we're trying to say here that if either of them is not null, keep going, right? So now since we are here and it is a possibility that one of them is null, right? So we'll have to check that inside of this. So we'll just take V1 and V2. And oh no, we don't need this. Yeah, we don't need this. Okay. So if L1 is not um hmm, if L1 is equal to null, okay, fine. Then because of this condition, it means L2 is 
not equal to null, right? So what we'll do is that we'll just make pointer dot next equals to L1, oh, sorry, L2, which is not null. And after that, we should break, right? Because one of them has become null and we have pointed pointer to the remaining of the other list. So we, we are done basically here. Similarly, we'll just check that if L2 is equal to equal to null, it means L1 is not null. And so pointer dot next equals to L1 and then break. Okay. Now, if both of them are not null, then we need to find out whose first node is, um, is lesser, right? So if l1.val is less than l2.val, then pointer.next, sorry, equals to l1 because l1 is lesser, right? And l1 equals to l1.next. So we basically just move the pointer. Else pointer dot next equals to l2 and l2 equals to l2 dot next yeah and then finally we have to move the pointer so pointer equals to pointer sorry pointer dot next cool. okay so once this is done we just have to do one last thing that is lists of index one equals to answer dot next yeah okay okay let's see if that works That works. So as I was saying, the time complexity for this is O of n log k. Uh, and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any collection or extra linked lists to store the intermediate or the final result. So if you like this, uh, this particular solution and if you enjoy this video, please like, share and subscribe. Keep coding and take care, guys.